We will describe our expedition to Achichorede, three miles away from Safro, on the Manfi Koforidua Road in the eastern region, as very interesting, and I'm sure you will agree with me after the story. First was our inability to locate the route to the area due to the unavailability of a signpost telling any first-time visitor which way to go. Not knowing what was ahead, we slowly headed off to our destination in spite of the deplorable nature of the road ahead. After driving for a while with no end in sight, we finally caught up with these two gentlemen also heading to Achicheridie. They told us in just a few minutes we will arrive at our destination. However, after what seemed like three or four miles, we finally got to Achicheridie. In what one would think is to make up for the stress of getting into this community, first-time visitors are welcomed with an amazing clean environment. Women here embark on what they term as communal sweeping and tidying up to achieve this result on a daily basis. This is home to about 300 people. William Yao Hinaku, a leader in the community, tells us the deplorable nature of the access route to the area inhibits vehicles from plying the route. Once a week, a vehicle might come through. We've suffered for a very long time. We even started communal labor constructing the road and later contacted officials in Kofuridia who promised to construct the road, but nothing has been done. We produce a lot of farm produce. When your road is good, vehicles ply through, but when it starts raining here, no car comes this way. A car comes from Medina once a week. With no school in the area, children here endure rigorous exercise of walking long distances to school. Many fall off in their pursuit of formal education along the way. We are dirty by the time we get to school because the road is bad. No car plies this route. When it rains, the children do not go to school. Our children trek long distances to school. Eva, a mother of four, tells us her second child, Jifa, is currently not in school due to the distance from the village to areas where schools can be located. There is no school here and she can't trek the long distance to school. It will take some time. She says this makeshift church initially served as a school for children here, but the inability of parents to pay for the fees led to its collapse. Another challenge, water. This water pump bought on credit may be lost due to the community's inability to pay back. The inhabitants don't listen. We decided to contribute and pay for the pump, but they don't pay. We don't have jobs here. These are about the least of their problems. Communication with the outside world, as residents here put it, is a challenge. Some have mobile phones, but as it is, owning a mobile phone has its emotional and physical price. Owners walk hours on end to neighboring villages to charge the batteries of the phones. This sometimes takes up to three days. We really need government's help. I charge my phone in a neighboring town, sometimes for three days. Residents of Achicheridie say they have endured their lifestyle for far too long and now want a bite of the national cake. They are appealing to government to provide the needed basic infrastructure in the area. Beatrice Baden, ETV Ghana News, Achicheridie.